Hey guys, it's Grim, and I'm back with another Call of Duty Mobile video, and today I'm going to show you guys how to beat Undead Siege on hard mode. Uh, for the gameplay, you guys are going to be seeing my team and I managed to win Night 5 without taking any machine damage, which is pretty crazy. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do day by day. Uh, be sure to pause the video if needed, and without further ado, let's get to it. Before we head into the game, I'm sure you guys are curious about what talent tree I had at the time. Um, so here it is, as well as what turrets my team used in that Night 5 without taking any machine damage. So here you guys go, it's on screen now. I should also let you guys know that I do have a very special wrench for this game. So there is a brand new crate that just released with a wrench inside it. And I thought it was just a skin, just how like everything in the game is. But nope, this thing is actually OP, and, but only in Undead Siege. Uh, I believe so Basically with this wrench it does double the amount of damage and healing So to put that in perspective I was able to, like I used to be able to hit the machine and heal at 128 points per hit But with this new wrench, I'm hitting it with plus 228 HP. So it's it's nuts and I also didn't mention that it does allow you to teleport back to the base whenever you want so you don't have that automatic teleport anymore You literally have a button to do it you know manually which is crazy but do not worry you do not need it uh to beat this easily all right just letting you guys know okay as soon as you launch a match it'll spawn you in one of many locations you should always find the helicopter and fly to the nearest town and just loot so for day one you just want to grab an smg and an ar and as much ammo as you possibly can find you'll need it later You'll also find some turret mods along the way, so pick those up as well. You can also get them from killing the zombies around there, so be sure to do that. Now, whenever you get automatically teleported back to the machine, go to the machine and at either of the sides where it tells you that there is a warehouse button, go into it, and on the right-hand side, you'll see a little house button. Press that. That's going to be the public warehouse. You're going to want to put all your turret mods there. Just drag and drop. You need to do this at the beginning of every single night. So keep that in mind, all right? Just put it in the back of your mind and just remember to do that at the end of every single night. So basically what it does is it creates a shared pool with you and your team, which you guys have access to it all. So if you need a specific mod, you don't need to go back to the machine and grab it from there. It'll automatically be there kind of wirelessly um, in your inventory so you just got to upgrade if it tells you there's an upgrade available you're able to upgrade even if it says you don't have those items it does in the warehouse so after everyone does that you just got to survive the round because this round is super super easy just place your own turret kill all the zombies uh, but be sure to save your ammo on the wardens the wardens are actually able to get taken on very easily with your wrench your wrench does a lot of damage on those guys so uh, be sure to do that Day two, so this day, you're gonna see that there's gonna be some care packages that are gonna be spawning in the map. So head over to the helicopter and tell your team one by one to head down and get those drops. So you can drop them off if care packages are in two different locations, just drop off two teammates at one, and then the two rest of you go to the other two drops. And basically each of these drops contain a lot of turret mods and ammo, so you wanna collect as much as you can. And uh, be sure to spread out again to different towns so you get as much as possible before the time runs out. You should also be able to find better rarity weapons at this point, like epics. So like an epic MX-9 or an epic holder or something. So be sure to get an epic SMG as well as an epic AR. Because the higher rarity the weapon is, the more damage it does. Night 2. So as soon as you're teleported back, be sure to place a second sentry down and upgrade your first one if possible. During the waves, try and upgrade your second turret that you just put down. You might be able to also upgrade one of your turrets to level 3. Now, during the waves of this, it is pretty straightforward and you'll see some new zombies. Uh, first one is going to be this teleporting zombie. He will literally try and teleport behind you and spit on you. So be sure to kill him because he's rude. Uh, you'll also see some fire kamikaze zombies. Uh, be sure to kill those fast as they do have little HP, but... They do hurt you a good amount if they explode in front of you or if they go straight to your turrets and explode. Now, for day three, get you and your team to the helicopter. There will be a couple places now that spawn care packages. So again, spread out if needed for one person per town or something. Spread them out, drop them off, grab as many mods as you possibly can from that. 
uh, from the supply drops as well as zombies and just looting just buildings. So be sure to get all that. At this point, grenades do not matter. So do not pick grenades. Take them out of your inventory. You do not need them. Just pick up the turret mods uh, as well as ammo and try to find crystals because the crystals helps a ton with your income. So be sure to find all those. They're usually in corners, you know, spread out around. So be sure to get all that stuff. Place your mods in the machine. Night three. All right. This one is pretty straightforward. As soon as you're teleported back to the base, place back your turrets because the base will have spawned in a different location this time. So be sure to put those back down and you should be able to upgrade one of your two turrets that you have down to level three. And throughout the waves, you should be able to place a third turret and level that one up to level two. Now, for Night 3, you are going to see some heavy gunner zombies, which are pretty much mini-bosses. Um, your turret should be able to do a good amount of damage to them, but be sure to focus mostly on the smaller zombies, like the Necromancers and the Fire Kamikaze ones, um, because you really don't want to get any of them too close. The gunner zombie will just kind of stay back and just hold his ground, um, but once you're done killing the small fry, go ahead and just headshot the heck out of the big guy. And this night, uh, you're also welcome to go ahead and go to the station and buy a war machine. That will be able to destroy the big groups a lot faster. Day 4, this is a very big day. So get you and your team ASAP to the helicopter. A special side event will spawn somewhere in the map randomly and you need to go there. So your whole team has to be there by the way. Whole team. So once you're all there, you will have two options for side events. It will either be a giant crystal event or a giant butcher zombie event. If it's the crystal, this one is super, super easy. Just go up to it and hit the button that pops up to start it. And basically, we'll have a timer that counts down. And you need to destroy that crystal before that time runs out. So, super, super easy. There'll be a ton of zombies spawn around, but you guys can multitask. Just kill zombies around you and just start shooting at the crystal. Now, if it's the butcher event, just focus fire on the butcher that spawns with headshots. There'll be a ton of zombies uh, as well, but it's going to be a lot easier since you're more in an open field. Just focus fire on the butcher and you should be able to beat him super super easy now once you finish the event a ton of mods will spawn out so be sure to pick as many as you possibly can um, at this point your bag is most likely full after all that um, but if not if there are any care packages that have spawned in the same town as you run to those grab those if not if your bag is just massively full just go around and find as many crystals as you can to get some more income and ammo if you need it. Place your mods in the machine. Night four. Okay, this is a big one. So as soon as you're back to the base, place your fourth turret. Be sure to upgrade your turrets as much as you can as well. And uh, if you need, you can use your wrench to hit the turrets uh, as it will make the upgrade time shorter. Now, by the end of this wave, you should have two fully upgraded turrets and two other turrets that will need upgrading starting night five so keep that in mind now this night can be a bit overwhelming so really focus on this once your turrets are down and ready focus fire on the first wave you'll notice a new type of zombie called necromancers they're basically the purple ghost thingies you see and you want to kill those first because they have a damage reduction spell that they do to the to the zombies around it and you just need to take that out now, once those are down, you should be able to destroy that group. The second wave comes really fast after that. There will be a lot of kamikaze zombies, so be sure to kill those guys quickly before they get to your turrets and do a ton of damage. The third wave is pretty crazy. There's going to be a heavy gunner, so be ready. Uh, but again, remember to take out the necromancers first as well as any fire kamikaze zombies because those you don't want those in the field at all. I recommend using a war machine on this group and another group will soon follow after that. So if you still have your war machine, whatever's left, use that on that group. And once your war machine goes away, if you need to, buy a death machine and go for headshots on the next wave. And that's pretty much it. For this gameplay, you're probably going to see me buy a Goliath as well after the death machine, but you really don't need to. Uh, that was just kind of overkill on my part, so you can save money on that. Day 5. Alright, as soon as it hits day, get you and your team to the helicopter and fly to the second side event. Uh, again, you'll get either the crystal or the butcher, so same thing, follow suit with that. Finish the event, find crystals after that, ammo and any care packages that are nearby. Make sure to fill your entire loot, and that's it. The biggest, ne the biggest night is next, so get ready. Place your mods in the machine.
Night 5, alright, this is the one that pretty much everyone dies at, so let me give you guys a rundown. So, by this point, your team should have 4 level 4 turrets, and each one of you guys should have 10k plus points. Alright, if not, that might be a problem, but from what I've seen, generally, you should have those two things. Now, once you set up your turrets around the machine, it's massacre time. So, concentrate fire on the first couple waves, and but keep a lookout on the minimap because some may spawn like very, very fast from one side. So, keep that in mind. For the start, I recommend using your guns for a little bit and then hop into the Goliath and just destroy the groups. And again, kill the Necromancers and the Fire Kamikaze Zombies first, as those will be the most trouble. If you feel like it's becoming a little overwhelming, go ahead and self-destruct yourself in the Goliath. There should be a button for that. And spawn in with a free revive. And once you spawn in, uh, go ahead and buy like a war machine and use those on the big groups. Just be sure to keep a distance, because it does cause a good amount of splash damage. So keep that at a distance, do that, and then go ahead and buy a death machine to use that. If everything is sold out, just focus gunfire, and I would say at if you hit a minute left and you're still at 100% health on the machine, you're doing fantastic. Towards, I'd say, the last 30-40 seconds, if the machine is taking any damage at all, start smacking the machine with your wrench and just heal it, just consistently heal it with you and your team, and you should just wait out the timer and win. That is pretty much it, guys. I had to write down this entire tutorial, make a commentary of it, um, have some gameplay as well. So hope you guys enjoy it all. Um, I'll put all the steps and just basically this entire um, thing that I've been talking about down in the description if you guys want to just read it all. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. But now I'm pretty much able to consistently do it to get a win on hard almost every single time, I'd say. I'd say like 97% of the time I can get this win easy. So... Just follow the steps, guys, and remember, place your mods in the machine. I'm telling you, there's so many people that don't know about it, and that literally helps your team so much. So remember to do that. All right, I'm out of breath. I'm tired. I'm out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Open. Men, they are going home.